Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using easy transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of the song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for the song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, pads, bass, all triggered in the lower left-hand range, which stretches from here to here. You'll see that as you move the song section control up, more arps and synths come in. Also starting at two thirds of the way up, you'll hear a chord piano, so right hand is free to play lead lines. The upper left hand range has an arp that comes in from this key to this key. I'll show you in the tutorial when that comes in. Your right hand will play piano chords from this key to this key. And then there's a lead line that you'll play, and this has some dulcimers and synths, starting on this key. And going the rest of the way up the keyboard. You'll start the song with song section control all the way down for intro, verse, and pre-chorus, up to one third for chorus and down bridge, two thirds for the instrumental and the medium bridge, and then all the way up for the big chorus. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For your intro, you're going to have a song section control all the way down. You'll be playing single notes with your left hand down here, and then you'll be playing chords in your right hand in a pattern. So this is going to continue throughout the song. It looks like this. Here it is one more time. So both hands will go like this. instrumental, you'll move the song section control two-thirds of the way up. You'll still be playing single notes in your left hand in the lower octave range, and then you'll be playing a lead in your right hand up high. Let me show you how that lead will sound. Play it again, and this time a little more slowly. The 
it's pretty much the same both times through, it just changes the last couple of notes. Now this lead part will never come in with a song section control all the way down, but it is still layered in here in case you might want it. The other thing I wanted to mention is this lead part is pretty fast at 118 BPM. So if this feels too fast, what I would recommend is that you slow down the tempo of the patch so that it's at a comfortable speed that you can play and put on the click so that you can hear that and practice it along. Once you find a comfortable speed that you can play the lead part at, I would encourage you to increase the metronome by four clicks until you get all the way up to speed. Sometimes I even like to learn it at a faster tempo so that by the time I come back to my actual tempo, it feels easy instead of really hard. If I know that I can play this at 125 and I actually need to play it at 118, that makes it a lot easier and I know that I'm not dragging behind the beat, just trying to keep up. Okay, so here is this right hand lead part along with the left hand. Instrumental will come back twice more during the song, but you'll play it the exact same way. For your verse, you'll start with song section control all the way down, and you'll actually play it the same as the intro. So you're going to have left hand here in the single notes in the low octave range, and then you'll play some chords with your right hand. So right hand looks like this. If you want to hear it played a little more slowly, you can check out the intro section of this tutorial as well. So here it is with both hands. The first two times through the verse, you'll play this the exact same way. Then the next time the verse comes back after the instrumental will be your medium verse, you'll still have song section control all the way down, but this time you will play octaves in your left hand instead. And this has the thumb bringing an arp in. The arp is actually available at all song section control positions, but I like to bring it in here. For your pre-chorus, you'll have song section control all the way down. You'll be playing single notes in the low octave for left hand, and you'll be playing piano chords in the right hand just as you are for the intro and the verses. So if you'd like to see right hand part slowed down a little bit, check out the intro section of the tutorial, but right hand will look like this. Here's both hands together for the down pre-chorus. For the medium pre-chorus, the only thing that changes is instead of playing single notes in the left hand, you'll now play octaves so that you have a nice little arp coming in in the top.
course, you'll have song section control at one third of the way up. You're going to be playing chords in the right hand and you'll be playing single notes in the lower octave in the bass. These piano chords are the same as we've seen before in the pre-chorus and the verses. If you'd like to see it slowed down, go ahead and check out the intro and I'll go ahead and just play them both hands together. Because the song is so fast and you do have to move the song section control really quickly, I like to simplify a little bit here at the end of the chorus and just do two chords without finishing the last couple syncopated chords. This allows me time to move the song section control up and also move my right hand all the way up here and get prepared to play the lead for the instrumental that comes after that. So make sure you watch the whole demo to see how I move between all these sections. For your medium chorus, you'll also have song section control when they're the way up. The only difference here is this time you are playing octave notes in your left hand. For your big chorus, you're going to move song section control all the way up to the top. And this time, instead of playing piano chords as we've done before, we are going to be playing the lead from the instrumental. If you'd like to see this played a little more slowly, be sure to check out the instrumental section of the tutorial. But I will show you how this all goes together. Here's right hand. For the bridge, you'll start with song section control one third of the way up. You'll be playing octave notes with your left hand for the whole time, and you'll be playing piano chords like we did in a lot of the other sections. So if you'd like to see this played more slowly, be sure to check out the intro section of the tutorial. So for the first half of the bridge, you'll play with song section control at one third, and then halfway through, I like to move it up to two thirds. So here's the first half at one third. For the second half, you'll move song section control up to two thirds. And this time you do have the chord piano coming in. So you could go ahead and just play octaves with your left hand, or it would be okay to join in with right hand as well. I just played both hands together. Song-specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song-specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time!